Demon Slayer, the movie, Mugen Train, is a direct follow-up to the first season of the anime, Demon Slayer, and I went into this film not knowing what to expect because I've only watched my sister watch a couple episodes of the show. She loves the show. I had no idea what was going on in the show, but she wanted to go see the movie. I was excited to see a new movie, and I came out pleasantly surprised. I really enjoyed this film. I really liked it a lot, and what I liked most about it was that I was able to get a gist of what was going on. It's not like this film has so many unanswered questions from before, you know, it's just a new plot point for the characters. And I could say that as a person to, who hasn't seen the show, I was able to follow the characters and understand their morals because of the way the film presents itself, especially with the plot. I was able to understand the plot, I have some issues with it, but that's not a deterrent to me not liking the film. I really, really enjoyed this film. So let's start with the plot. So the film follows three characters, Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu, who board a train so they can find this warrior named Ren Goku, and he ends up taking them under his wings, but there's a demon aboard the train who wants to kill all the passengers. So he puts everyone on the train into a sleep and presents them with a dream that they most desire, really. So they have to figure out how to escape and how to kill the demon. That's really all there is to the movie in terms of the basis of a plot because everything else about the characters and their growth is a lot more spoilery especially to people who I'm pretty sure haven't seen the show but I was able to get it and I really liked it. The characters believing that the dreams they're having are reality really leads to some emotional moments especially with Tanjiro and Ren Goku. These two characters have a lot of depth to them and I was able to really get behind them and root for them. I really like these characters. I like the art style of the film. I think it looks really good. There are some scenes that look drop dead gorgeous and there are some scenes that look really good. I can say that from what I've seen of the show, it looks just like the show, but just a little better. But what's weird about it is that, you know, watching an anime film, you wouldn't expect certain things to happen, like the more comedic moments where the characters are drawn very differently, which I think helps it feel more like of the show. And, you know, I'm pretty sure People aren't going to go into this film expecting something that isn't connected to the show because it is a follow-up to the show. But I was able to enjoy it. It's funny. It has its comedic moments with the changing art styles and the over-exaggerated um, voice acting in certain moments, even though it could be laughable at times. So I watched this movie as a dub. So it has English voice acting. And with that, I do have some gripes with it, like a character would talk. And then they would pause for a while. And then they would continue to talk. So, you know, stuff like that always gripes me, but it's a dub. What are they going to do? And I'm pretty sure they don't want to add additional dialogue or change a lot of stuff up to mess with the original vision of the people who created the film. But that's another thing. My main issue with dubs, mainly, especially in this movie, is that there are some points where it's very funny and it's unintentionally funny. And I can say that without feeling awful because a lot of people around me were laughing at some unintentionally funny dialogue and the delivery of the lines. But there are also some great emotional moments where the voice actors really do a good job portraying their characters in deep emotional distraught. And that's not to say that when there are some unintentionally funny moments in the movie that there isn't humor. No, the film has a lot of humor. There's a lot of good jokes and a lot of just cool character moments where they could be cute or they have funny interactions with each other. It's just, I found myself laughing a lot more than I, I thought I would have. What I enjoyed most about this movie was the action because like a typical anime action series, there's a lot of ridiculous over the top stuff going on with people leaping and jumping ridiculous heights and having extreme strength and using cool elements because these characters can use electricity or fire or water with their blades. And it's really cool. I like over-the-top action stuff like this. It's really enjoyable, especially when it can look really good because the action looks amazing and I I was laughing and chuckling because I was like, wow, this looks really cool. I can't believe I'm watching this. It, it's awesome. Now, I've said a lot of good things about this movie. Now, here's what will make my sister want to slap me because I do have a couple of things I didn't like about this. Um, the main villain who puts all the people under a sleep in the train I felt the villain was very weak, not in terms of strength because he did provide a lot of cool fight scenes, but in terms of motivation. 
Maybe it's because I don't understand why the demons want to probably kill all the humans in the world or whatever. But it's just that the villain seemed to have a weak motivation to me. Also, and this is going to get into some spoilers right now, the villain ends up getting killed only for another demon to end up showing up, which is what they call a very high-ranking demon, a top three demon, they would say in the film. And my gripe with this is that the introduction of this villain, right when the film seemed like it was going to end, you know, they saved the day, no, there's a new villain, and it makes the film feel a lot longer than it should have, or what it could have been. It's just, and it makes this film really feel like it's a series, like it's an arc in a show rather than its own movie, because then this villain just comes out of nowhere without a setup. And I don't know if the villain, this demon, was in the show or not, but it's it was a little distracting for me, because I felt that, oh, the heroes won, the day is saved, oh, now we gotta watch more cool action. I enjoyed the cool action in this scene with the uh, Ren Goku and this top three demon guy, but it seemed to just drag the film out just a little bit longer. Also, another gripe I had with this movie was that the demon ends up, um, like, I, like I said, spoilers, what the demon ends up doing on the train is that he ends up becoming the train. He infuses himself within the train. And he has a bunch of extensions on him. And it's just like a bunch of purple blobs. A bunch of purple blobs and goo and whatever. And it's all CG and it looks really bad. Especially mixed in with the different art styles that the film is going with. And what's weird about it is that there's some scenes where if it were to latch on to characters or it's a, on a close-up of a character... You can see that it's drawn like the other characters. I'm pretty sure that would have just taken a lot more time to do, but I think it would have turned out a lot better and wouldn't have been that much of an eyesore to me. But overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I don't have a lot of gripes with it, but I found myself enjoying the action, the character interactions, the emotional moments, especially with Tanjiro and Ren Goku about their past and how that motivates them to become better heroes and demon slayers. It's... It really made me want to watch the show, and I think I'm going to end up watching the show. I'm going to give Demon Slayer, the movie, whatever the hell it's called, a B. It's really enjoyable. I'm pretty sure I would have enjoyed this film a lot more if I had watched the show, but I'm not saying that because I didn't watch the show, I didn't enjoy the movie. I really enjoyed this movie as its own piece. So I'm pretty sure if I were to watch the show, I would enjoy this a whole lot more. But in the end... I did enjoy this film a lot. So tell me what you thought about the Demon Slayer movie. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Is it everything you wished for? My sister absolutely loved it and I'm glad for that. I'm glad to have watched the movie with her. We don't watch a lot of movies together, but hey. So tell me what you thought about Demon Slayer, the movie in the comments below, and I'll be back with more movie reviews like this. And bye.